What's up guys, Vince Ruddy here. Welcome back to Boy Girlfriend. And today we got ourselves a 96 and 97 Heaven 7-Eleven Rhymes. Uh, but seriously, um, yeah, I'm going to be leaving vacation for like next few weeks. So another hiatus is coming up, but I'm going to try my best to make enough videos while I'm out. You know, I guess that for this October, I'm not going to make a lot. I don't know what to do about the Halloween, you know, special. I don't even think I, I have a Halloween special because, well, I don't celebrate it. But, yeah, let's do this. 96 and 90. Someone? Someone? Ugh. Okay, well, you know what? I'm good. <laughs> no, I'm no seriously. I, I hope they censored some stuff. I hope we're keeping our clothes on. Please? Please? What did I just saw? Sorry, I zone out there for a second. Mind if I keep... I, I really don't want to edit anything. I don't want to edit anything. I just want an episode where I don't get age restricted. Can we please? Can we, can we please respect the laws? Anyways. Oh, uh, hey, let's stop here, okay? Well, they're stopping. Thank God. They're stop Okay. Now, now, this is the part where you put your shirts on. Um, okay. Uh, we better get dressed. Right. So, uh, oh, stamp. What the? Huh? I knew it. I knew I would come here to find you. And how come you didn't invite me? <laughs> Am I not special? Calmly talking to each other in your bed. Hi. So annoying. <laughs> Is the party not that good? The party's great. If you must know. What, what are you doing? You're totally missing out, losers. What the heck? What a uh, timing. We got lucky. If he had come in one minute earlier, who knows what kind of rumors he'd start. So do you want to head to sleep? But uh, I, I was thinking, do you maybe want to have a talk first? There are a few things. I'm going to take some air. Uh, we, uh, definitely have things we need to discuss, but not right now. Let's do it after we get back from the trip, okay? Okay, sounds good. And here we are in this 3D rendered campus. Looks good, though. Looks good. And outside. I don't want to start overthinking again, but when you know someone for as, as many years as I know him, you know damn well how to read them. Their body language, all the tiny shifts in their expression. Up to every twitch of their eyebrows, you know what it means. So when I saw that look on his face when he froze up, it didn't take me long to spot it. The hesitation in his eyes, the uncertainty, the way he got slightly but eventually uh, repulsed? Even if it was for a single second, it was still here. I'm not delusional, nor do I have unrealistic, unrealistic expectations. I know King has been straight all his life, and I know he has only ever dated girls. But going further than that, King had to face the fact I'm undeniably a guy. I'm not Lynx nor his fake girlfriend, or anything like that. I can't blame him for being hesitant or even put off about it. But I can't deny the fact that it hurts. It sort of feels like he's rejecting who I truly am. And if he can't accept me being a guy, then this can never work out. I wonder, maybe that's the thoughts he's having. Because he's not saying that out loud. But what we're we doing here? What is happening next episode on the Patreon? Okay. Oh. Oh. Nice fan art. The neck. Are you okay? Oh, whoa. How did I get there? Every time I zoom and zoom out, it just like scrolls. Just like, just like, yeah, I'm just going to scroll. <laughs> uh, episode 97. And wow. Look at the rendering that. 
Somehow during the trip, despite everything that happened, we managed to become even more awkward than when uh, we first came to Rainbow High School. You were sitting right with me, right? Of course, that's your boyfriend. Yeah. Though, at least this time we were on speaking terms. Window seat. Thanks. No, maybe. Oh, what? A bit more than that. Oh, I wish I could get inside your head right now, figure out what you really think. I want to share it with all with me, all your thoughts, your hesitation. I want to know it all. Oh, oh, holding hands. Oh, hey, can you not, dude? Oh, my God. Can you back off? Ba hey, you too. Don't. <laughs> That's not your business, man. Why have you been so damn silent during the whole trip? You didn't fall asleep. That face, I, I just can't. Right? It's not like you stayed up late because of the awesome party. Loser stayed in. Uh, we weren't sleeping. Nah, don't answer that effer, King. He's just bitter he didn't get any real panels besides ugly chibis in this episode. <laughs> what did you say? You are who are you calling ugly? You okay? <laughs> All these wow. They don't care. Uh, before we knew it, we were back. See, you, man. I'll text you. Okay. Yeah. Chatter. Hmm. Grab. Uh, hey, I'm uh so happy we're back to being okay. Uh, me too, King. I wish I could kiss you right now. Wait, right now? You, you do know who's watching us, right? You, you do know who's watching us. Do you really? Uh, and, and I was, I wish yesterday was just me being paranoid and reading too much into the situation. Because after all, this is, I have no idea how to go back to just being just friends. Yeah, well, you can't. Excel is keeping an eye on us, remember? <laughs> Look at him. Maybe he's jealous. Really, has he got nothing better to do in his life? You coming, Excel? Yeah. Anyways, catch you later, okay? Yep, see you, Onyx. Oh, and that little heart there. That little heart there. Ooh. Oh, my God. I mean, now I'm really thinking that Excel is just jealous. He's just jealous. I wish I had a man. Um, see you guys when I see uh, One Love and a Beast.